Uh, here we're working with our CPP our aluminum master cylinder, uh, midnight edition, black top, black bales. It's single sided, not like our uh, older design, which was four ports. We've changed it to uh, two ports just for no particular reason other than that it's cleaner, less chance of leaks. We're working with our CPP bleeding syringe and bleeder toolkits. Those guys are used to circulate the fluid back into the chamber and then the needle is uh, used to inject the fluid into the to the ports in the master. We use AC Delco uh, dot three brake fluid. Doesn't have to be AC Delco. You can use dot three or dot four. You can even use dot five. Uh, we normally wouldn't recommend it just because of the because it's silicone based, but a lot of guys like to use it. So here, Luis is installing the adapter fittings. They're plastic, so there's no chance of damaging or stripping the brass seat or the fittings. And then uh, once he gets so snug. Then we'll slip in the hoses over the top of the fitting. All right, guys. Now it's very important to bench bleed a master cylinder before it gets installed on the vehicle. Brackets give you a little bit of an angle. Just the levelness of the vehicle can uh, cause an air bubble to be trapped. Not to mention a booster actually doesn't travel the full length of a master cylinder piston. So you'll always end up with trapped air and it'll take you longer to try and get the air out of the system. So if you can have a tabletop vise on the bench or if you have a different way of holding it level then you can see here it's pretty flat giving us the ability to purge all the air out of it and less chance of anything getting trapped inside. Now, some will say it's time consuming some people will say uh, you can do it on the vehicle take the time do it now do it off the vehicle it's just it's going to be that much easier in the long run you won't have to fight air bubbles as much It'll be easier to diagnose a later issue if you have any other issues. When you take the fluid, you're going to fill up the reservoir, not to the top, but a pretty close to. You want to make sure it's, uh, you got plenty of fluid when you're cycling that. And then what you do is take your syringe and you're going to fill it full of fluid. Draw it full. And you can't really see in the video, but at the bottom of your master cylinder, starting with the rearmost port, you're actually going to inject the fluid and you can watch the fluid travel through the tubes after the air is all gone. So draw more fluid and inject it down into the chamber. You can see the level in that reservoir is going down and that's because he's actually forcing the fluid into the piston area without even having to cycle the piston. You see how there's already uh, almost no air bubbles in that, very few. And that's because he's injected it and the fluid, the air is actually already started to travel out of the area. Do it several times till all the air bubbles are gone. Uh, you can see it's very, very, very little air bubbles now. So once you get to a good solid state, you can move to the front chamber. If you don't have our syringe, which is actually offered and available with every order, you can do the old school way of taking the screwdriver to the back, to the back of the piston and pushing it. But um, this, this way really saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort, and it makes sure to eliminate all the air no chance for agitation of the fluid that's it it's going to top off the chamber and you can pull the hoses or you can leave them in there and carefully walk over the vehicle and install it but at this point the mass is ready to be bolted in it'll make your bleeding your brake lines a lot easier uh, it'll be fully primed so you'll already have pressure at the master cylinder it'll get everything moving out of the lines and you'll get a nice solid pedal in no time